Arthur loves working on the island of Sodor. He's new to the railway and is still learning his way around. One morning, he discovered the fishing village. The sun made the water sparkle, and the seagulls called across the harbor. This was Arthur's favorite place. That evening, Sir Topham Hatt came to the sheds. There's going to be a new line to the fishing village. I have to decide which engine shall run it. He paused impressively. Thomas and Percy looked away. They had enough work to do. Arthur hoped he would be chosen. Thomas, you will work on the new line. Yes, sir, said Thomas, but he really didn't like the smell of fish. Arthur was disappointed. Sir Topham Hatt sent him to haul coal to the steelworks. That evening, Thomas was at the washdown when Arthur puffed in. Do I smell a fishy engine? He teased. Yes, huffed Thomas. Silly fish, smelly new line. Arthur wished he could go to the fishing village instead of the steelworks. He'd be much happier than Thomas. The next morning, Thomas was still grumpy. The fishermen had caught lots of fish. Hurry up, said Thomas. I'm a busy engine. And a fussy one, too, said the fisherman. Just enjoy the fresh, salty smell of the fish. P.U., puffed Thomas. Thomas steamed as fast as he could along the line. But there was trouble ahead. Some faulty points sent his freight cars one way and Thomas onto the old pier rail. Whoa! The troublesome trucks were delighted. He's falling in the water! <laughs> Luckily, Thomas wasn't hurt, and the fish freight car stayed on the tracks. When Sir Topham Hatt heard the news, he checked his timetable. Arthur is the nearest engine. I'll send him right away. It was a hot day. The ice that was keeping the fish cold started to melt. I hope someone comes quickly, moaned Thomas. That fish will spoil soon. Arthur was surprised to see Thomas in the tidal pool. Are you all right, Thomas? No, but I'll be much better when you take these fish away. The breakdown van will be here soon, called Arthur's driver. Arthur knew he had to hurry. He raced along the line to the docks and arrived there just in time. Later, Arthur went to see Thomas at the fitter's yard. Thank you for helping me, said Thomas. Thank you, said Arthur. I wish I had the fishing village line all the time. Well, please tell Sir Topham Hatt, because I don't like fish. That evening, Sir Topham Hatt came to the sheds. I need an engine to go to the fishing village while Thomas is being repaired, he said. Any volunteers? Me! Arthur blurted out. And please, sir, may I run on that line all the time? Thomas doesn't like fish, but I do. Then the line is yours, said Sir Topham Hatt. Arthur was delighted. The next morning, he puffed into the fishing village right on time. The smell of fish was everywhere but he was sure he had the most beautiful line on the island of Sodor.